for companies that have a cultural challenge of some kind, it isn't working for them, they want it to, the notion of the critical few is really helpful. And there are three dimensions to the critical few. The first is, within your culture, you want to find a few elements you can use and a few elements that you might want to counterbalance because that's doable in almost any cultural situation. The second thing is you want to aim those because they are fundamentally sources of emotional energy. You want to aim them at a critical few behaviors, not 10 or 12, but three or four because that's doable. And if you aim a few elements at a few, element, at a few critical behaviors, you will get change faster than you think. The third thing that's helpful is to use what I call special forces. These are people in your organization that know how to operate informally. They can work across the organization with peers and colleagues. They're extremely valuable when you're trying to get some cultural impact on a critical few behaviors. So that's the notion that I feel is most practical.